Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Dr. Mark. And say it with me. I am back with another Sunday service from the Quarantine Chapel. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for the comments for last Sunday. And now we look forward to the sermon for this Sunday. The Lord has laid upon my heart this message. Your days uh, are numbered uh, and it's taken uh, from uh, Psalms 90. Uh, yes, uh, regardless of who we are, our days are numbered uh, and it is for us to say to, look to God, uh, teach me the Lord, grant me the wisdom that I need, uh, knowing uh, that my days are numbered. Uh, that I can live a quality of life uh, that you so desire and I can make an impact and change uh, upon my community and upon the life uh, of others. Uh, as we continue our service today, uh, I'd like you to listen uh, to this song. Uh, I mean, it's a wonderful song, Number of My Days. Uh, and this individual has a powerful testimony. I need you to listen to the words of the song at this time. Hallelujah. I'm counting. I'm counting. The number of my days. The number of my days. That I may gain a heart of wisdom. That I may gain a heart of wisdom. Won't be long. I will be gone. I'll sit in face to face. Mm. So I'm counting, I'm counting the number, the number of, my of my days. Hallelujah. Won't be long. I'll be forgotten. I'll be forgotten by, by this world. world. Won't be long. But I will never be. That's yet to come. Mm. Cause I will see the one who knew me before I was known. Yes, sir. So I'm counting the number of my days. Almighty God, we come into your presence today. And your word reminds us that life is short. We're not here on this earth forever. And we need to use this time as a sense of preparation for the infinite life uh, and the, the, the life to come. Uh, the everlasting life uh, that you have uh, for us. Uh. Lord, we pray that we may come to your throne of grace. Uh, and cry out to you and say, Lord, uh, teach me, dear Lord. Uh, grant me the wisdom that I need, uh, knowing uh, that my days uh, are numbered. Uh, I pray today, Lord, uh, that our focus would be on thee. Uh, and I pray that our focus would be on the quality of life uh, that you have extended to us. Uh, and I pray, dear Lord, that this life that you've given us, uh, we would use it uh, to impact uh, the life of others uh, and impact our community. Yeah. Bless your word to our hearts today and strengthen us uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I, I tell you, this, this song uh, is being a, a blessing to me. Yeah. And this scripture from Psalms uh, 90, which I'll be reading uh, in a little while, uh, has been eye-opening. Not that I did not know before that uh, our lives are short, uh, but uh, in reading through the Psalms again, uh, it gave me some greater insight uh, into life uh, that I'd like to share with you. Listen to God's word uh, from Psalms 90. And it says, Lord, uh, you have been uh, our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, you brought forth the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. 
You turn men back to dust, saying, Return to dust, O sons of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. You sweep men away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning, though in the morning it springs up new, by evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before us, our secret sins in the light of your presence. All our days passed away under your wrath. We finish our years with a mourn. The length of our days is 70 years or 80. If you have the strength, uh, yet uh, their span uh, is but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass uh, and uh, will fly away. Yeah. Who know the power of your anger? For your anger is as great as the fear of that is due you. Uh, teach us to number your days aright that we might gain a heart uh, of uh, knowledge. Uh, may God bless his holy word uh, today. Yeah. Teach us, he says. Uh, the word of God says, teach us, uh, hallelujah. Teach us, uh, teach us, he says, uh, to number our days, uh, all right, that we may gain uh, a heart of wisdom. Uh, well, folks, our days are already numbered. Uh, because the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die, but after death, the judgment. Uh, however, God wants to teach us uh, how uh, our days can be meaningful upon this earth. Uh, how our days can be uh, uh, days, times of joy, uh, times of service. Uh, how our days can be impactful and make a difference uh, in uh, the life uh, of others. Uh, the psalmist David started out uh, uh, with Almighty God being the everlasting God. Uh, and I like that uh, because it shows a contrast between man's life uh, and the existence existence of God. He says, Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. For you to really fully understand what the psalmist David is saying, you have to go back to Genesis chapter 1, when it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And it was before, without form and void and darkness fill uh, the, the, that um, place. Uh, but then God spoke and said, uh, let there be, let there be, and he created. Uh, so before the world was created, before our very existence, God uh, was there. He is everlasting uh, from everlasting. Uh, and who else can tell us uh, about the, the shortness of life uh, but God himself uh, because he created us. Uh, he said, you Return from back to dust, uh, says, return to the dust, uh, O son uh, of man. Uh, I remember whenever I am doing uh, a funeral uh, at the graveside, uh, we will pick up uh, some dirt there. Uh, and uh, when we pick up some dirt there, uh, here it is. Uh, we have uh, some dirt uh, in our hands. Uh, we will pick up this dirt there. Uh, in, in our hands, uh, and as we have this dirt in our hands, uh, we would throw it, uh, and we would say ashes to ashes, uh, dust to dust, uh, because uh, we are returned uh, back uh, to the earth uh, from which we were formed, uh, and uh, God uh, knows that about us, uh, but sometimes we forget uh, that we are the dust of the earth, uh, and the only reason why we are alive uh, is because the breath of God breathed into us, uh, and we become uh, 
a living soul. But God can return us to the dusk at any time. Can you imagine all of the glamour that we have lived and experienced, but yet that underneath it is only dust? Can you imagine being returned back just to the ashes or the dust from which we are created? And he says, a thousand, for a thousand years in your sight, it's like the day that has just gone by or like watch in the night. That's the reason why I cannot understand why some men, some people rail against God and, and wants to challenge the existence of God and challenge the presence of God when, they, when we don't even live to be a thousand years anymore. The oldest man that has ever lived, uh, according to the Bible, is Methuselah. And Methuselah lived for 969 days, uh, according uh, to the scripture. But yet, uh, when we read Psalms, uh, it's telling us uh, that a thousand years in your sight is like a day. Yeah. So when we look at the oldest man that has ever lived uh, in our world, uh, we come to realize that is just a day in the existence uh, of God. Uh, the Bible tells us that you can sweep men away uh, in, uh, in the sleep of death. Uh, they are like uh, the new grass uh, of the morning. Uh, this tells us uh, today uh, that life is short. Uh, there is a limit to our life. Uh, there is a finiteness to our existence. Uh, and because uh, we have uh, just a very short, uh, a short sense of life, uh, it's important for us to go back to verse 12 uh, and say, um, uh, teach us to number our days aright, uh, that we may gain uh, a heart uh, of wisdom. God wants to give us a heart of wisdom. He wants to direct us and guide us. He wants to inform us. He wants to bless us in a way that we have never been blessed. But it's going to take us to come to Almighty God. It's just a few days ago on Thursday, we celebrated the American independence. And we have been independent for over 248 years uh, and uh, no one in our world uh, can say that they have lived uh, that long. No one in our world can say that they were there back in 1776 uh, and they witnessed uh, the independence. Uh, all those uh, who have witnesses, they're all dead uh, and they're all gone. And that tells us uh, how uh, Life is so frail. Life is so short because we are numbered. Our life is numbered. And because our life is numbered and we know that we can be swept away in the sleep of death, it's for us to say, Lord, teach me. Hallelujah. He says, you are a consuming you are a consuming anger and terrified uh, by your indignation. We, you, we have set uh, our iniquity before you. Uh, our secret sins uh, is uh, in the light of your presence. Uh, it tells us that God uh, is the only one that can destroy us. Uh, God knows us more than anything else. Uh, and if God understands our life, uh, and he knows the history of our life, uh, he knows our thoughts, uh, it then uh, he is the one that we need to turn to to say, Lord, uh, teach me to um, uh, number my days. Uh, teach me, dear Lord, uh, to take stock uh, of who I am. Uh, help, let me answer this question. Uh, what is your purpose here on earth? Uh, what is your purpose in life? Uh, your purpose on earth uh, and your purpose in life uh, must be in conjunction with the purpose that God has set forth for you on this earth. Uh, let me say this again. Uh, your purpose on earth uh, and your purpose in life uh, must be in conjunction uh, to what God has set forth for you uh, 
in uh, this lifetime. Uh, if you do any other thing different uh, or go any other way, it will uh, not uh, be counted. Do you hear me today? Yeah. It will not be counted because uh, the length of our days, he says, uh, it's right here. The length of our days is 60, 70 years. The length of our days is 70 years. And it says, uh, by measure of strength, uh, we might uh, live uh, for 80 or more. Uh, that's right. Uh, some of us uh, are looking forward uh, to uh, to long life. Uh, some of us uh, are looking forward uh, just like our grandmother did uh, or our great-grandmother did that lived to be 85 uh, and 90. But it says by measure of strength, uh, you can live beyond uh, that a lot of time uh, that God has given us. Uh, that's right. He said, but even if we live uh, to be that long, hear what it says. Uh, he says, uh, but trouble and sorrow, they are quickly past uh, and uh, we fly away. Yeah. It tells me uh, that uh, there is a shelf life uh, for sorrow uh, and trouble. Uh, it tells me today yeah, that uh, we don't have uh, to fear about um, what the life uh, is going to do to us uh, because uh, there is uh, a number uh, that God uh, has uh, put uh, on uh, our life. Uh, that's right. Uh, there is a number for us uh, to really look at. Uh, and he says, uh, um, he is giving us a number of 70. And he says, by measure of strength, uh, we might be able to go to 80. Uh, by measure of strength, uh, we might go to 80. Uh, and uh, if we even uh, outlive 80, there, this is what I call uh, gravy on, uh, I mean, uh, icing on the cake uh, or gravy on uh, the meat. Uh, because this is what we are locked in uh, where Almighty God uh, is concerned. Uh, this is where we are locked in. But it's also through His grace, uh, G-R-A-C-E, uh, grace uh, and mercy, uh, that uh, we can uh, go beyond that. Uh, when you look at grace, uh, if you take God out, uh, G, uh, you only have a uh, race. Uh, and uh, it tells us uh, of the impact uh, that God has uh, on uh, our hearts uh, and uh, on uh, our life. Uh, hallelujah. We have been given a mandate, and the mandate is, Lord, teach me to number my days. And it is, Lord, teach me to know the value of life, not just for myself, but for those that are around me. You've heard the saying, it's only what's done for Christ would last, You've heard the saying uh, that uh, the significance of your life uh, is not all of the money that you've made. Uh, the significance of your life uh, is not all of the things uh, that, that you are um, uh, able to write off on your bucket list. Uh, that's not the significance of life. Uh, of course, that helps with the enjoyment of life, uh, but that's not the significance of life. Uh, the Bible tells the purpose of life uh, is for us uh, to serve God and do his will and love our neighbor as ourselves because those are the two great commandments that's before us. Your life and my life is finite. It's fleeting. And God want us to understand that. And therefore, we need to know the power that exists that God has over us. And for us to be able to submit ourselves to the power and the might of God. Teach me. Teach me, eh, Lord, eh, to number my days. Hallelujah. I, I, I am like that. He said, uh, help me to appreciate the value and the limitation of time eh, that I have uh, on earth. Eh. And some uh, we know, uh, 
does not even make it to 20 years. Uh, some uh, do not even make it to 10 years. Uh, some uh, do not make it to 50 years. Uh, some, uh, and we can go with the numbers, 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 numbers. We can go with all of the numbers uh, that we can come up with. Uh, and we know uh, that uh, life is short there. Uh, he says that uh, we are like the grass of the field. Uh, we spring up uh, and we wither and die. We are like the flower that we bloom out in the morning. Uh, and then we wither and die in the night. Uh, so what can we do in this short uh, time uh, that God uh, has given us? Uh, what difference can we make? Uh, well, God wants to help us uh, because he says, teach me. Are you willing to, to learn from God? The Bible says a good man steps are directed by the Lord. Uh, and if uh, we allow God to teach us and direct us, our life uh, can uh, be fulfilled. Uh, one of the important things uh, in life is to find meaning. Uh, the important things in life is to find purpose. Uh, because without purpose and meaning, uh, we are just existing. Uh, and uh, there is no sense of accomplishment uh, and no sense of joy uh, if we have no purpose uh, and we have uh, no meaning in life. Uh, many people have taken their own lives because uh, they find they have no purpose. Uh, many have taken their own lives because uh, they find they have no meaning. Uh, but when we come to God uh, and we say, God, lead us and direct us. Uh, when we come to God and we say, God, uh, guide us. Uh, show us, dear Lord, uh, how our lives can be fulfilled. Uh, how our lives can be a blessing on uh, to others. Uh, and let me say this. Uh, it's not just uh, serving in the church uh, can make a difference uh, in uh, your life uh, where God is concerned. Uh, but God has a way of directing our path. Uh, God has a way of guiding us through our lifetime. Uh, and because uh, he wants to guide us, uh, we need uh, to turn to him. Uh, so many high schoolers uh, have graduated from high school uh, this year uh, and they're trying to determine uh, how their lives can make uh, an impact uh, upon this world. Uh, they're trying to determine where they need to go, uh, what they need to do. Uh, some of you, you've graduated from college uh, and you're looking for the next step. Uh, and some of you think the next step uh, is for me to find a job. Uh, the next step is for me to start a family. The next Next step is for me to get involved in politics. But let me tell you something. No matter what you may think the next step might be, I want you to stop. I want you to stop and say, Lord, uh, direct my path uh, and guide my ways. Uh, I want you to say, Lord, uh, give me the wisdom that I need, uh, that my life can be meaningful. Uh, give me the wisdom that I need, uh, that my life uh, can make an impact. Uh, you don't have to be a movie star for your life to be impactful. You don't have to be a politician uh, for your life to be impactful. You don't have to be a preacher for your life uh, to be impactful. In fact, uh, some of the most common uh, and simple men uh, of our world today uh, has made uh, a difference uh, in uh, our life. Uh, do you hear me today? Uh, from 15 years old or 10 years old uh, or whatever age might be, uh, God can ri raise you up uh, in order to make a difference. Uh, I can remember Samuel uh, when he was serving in the temple with Eli uh, and he was laying down uh, and he heard a voice uh, calling his name uh, and he jumped up uh, and he went to Eli and said, uh, well, uh, someone has called my name. Uh, and Eli said, no, go back to sleep. Uh, and he went back to sleep uh, and he heard about uh, uh, three times. Uh, and then Eli said to him, if you hear the voice calling your name, uh, you need to say, speak, Lord, uh, 
for thy servant here at the God uh, wants to speak to your heart today. Remember last week's sermon, uh, God still speak to us. Uh, well, today uh, we need uh, to listen. Uh, hallelujah. Today we need to open up our hearts uh, and open up our ears uh, and open up our minds uh, and listen uh, to God uh, because he wants uh, to help us uh, to figure out life. Uh, in fact, that was the most difficult thing for any teenager to figure out life for themselves. That's the most difficult thing for any adult that is to figure out life for themselves because there's just so many snares and pitfalls uh, that lays ahead of us. Uh, the Bible tells us that the devil is like a roaring lion uh, seeking whom he may destroy. There are traps and snares all around us uh, that wants to snap uh, our life out of us. Uh, but the Bible tells us uh, if we go to God, uh, if we trust in God, uh, he can help us uh, to avoid the snares of the devil. Uh, he can help us uh, to make uh, the decisions in life uh, that will not bring scars and pain and suffering to us, uh, but the decisions of life uh, that will bring glory to his name, uh, joy to our hearts, uh, and make a difference uh, to our family, loved ones, uh, and friends. Uh, oh, I just love uh, this particular psalm uh, because uh, it, it helps us to see the fullness of life uh, right before us. Uh, it tells us how God is everlasting uh, and how short our life is. Uh, and then how God is going to teach us uh, to be impactful uh, in uh, our world today. Yeah. I want to reach out to our pastors uh, and I want you to know that a lot of our young people uh, are leaving the church and the board uh, because uh, they don't find any meaning uh, in coming to church. Uh, if you just uh, have a service uh, for an hour and you sing a few songs uh, and you read the scripture and you go back home, uh, they don't find uh, any uh, attraction. They don't find any inspiration. They don't find much motivation. And we can change that because you remember when you were younger. You remember when you were a teen. You remember the church services, how impactful it was. You knew how exciting it was for you to want to go to church, not just to be with your friends, but there was something about that congregation and that service that motivate you, uh, that inspire you, uh, that move you, uh, that call you, uh, that call you to preach, uh, that call you uh, to give your heart and life to God. There was something about that service uh, that confronted your sins uh, and your iniquity. Uh, and you cry out, woe is me, God, for I am undone. Uh, and God reached out and forgave you uh, and changed your life uh, and changed the path uh, of your life. Uh, and here you are today. Yeah. We need to offer something more to our young people where our church is concerned. Uh, when we have youth camp, uh, we need to offer something in youth camp uh, that when they come back from youth camp, their lives uh, change uh, and transform. Uh, you know, programs is a good thing in some circumstance. Uh, but if programs are replacing uh, the power of God, if programs are replacing the revelation of God, if programs are replacing the direction and guidance of God, uh, well, the short life that we have uh, will have very little meaning. Uh, we are about just the dust of the earth. Uh, and remember in that song, it says, uh, sooner or later, no one is going to remember that you existed. No one that will remember that you were alive. No, but God will, hallelujah, because uh, he says, uh, let not your heart be troubled. Uh, you believe in God, believe also in me. Uh, in my father's house are uh, many mansions, he says, if it were not so, I would have told you. Uh, God is preparing us not just for this life, uh, but for the life to come. Uh, and the apostle Paul says, uh, if we have hope in this life only, we are like most men miserable, especially since uh, life uh, 
is so short. But it's for us to be able to come to God. It's for us to be able to seek after God, knowing that our days are numbered. Hallelujah. Knowing that our days are numbered. And because we know that our days are numbered, we need to be able to come to God in prayer and repentance. You know, the Hebrew uh, has a phrase uh, that, and I know some of you Hebrew scholars out there might think I'm mispronouncing it, but I'm going to give it a try. It's called Yimat, Y-I-T-M-E-H, and it's the Hebrew uh, means to count, uh, to number, or to reckon, an action done to ourselves. It's a sense of introspection that we look within ourselves. We look within our lives and we come to realize where we are at. It's for us to take inventory of our lives. It's for us to take stock of our lives, knowing that we do not know how, when our number, let me say this again. It, it's important for us to take stock of our lives because we do not know when our number is going to be called. Hallelujah. Some of you, uh, you, you like to play bingo uh, and uh, you listen uh, for the numbers on that bingo card. Uh, and if it doesn't match uh, to what you have, uh, well, then uh, it doesn't mean anything to you. Uh, but when it matches, uh, that number matches yours uh, and you have the same number uh, and you become a winner. Oh, what a joy it is. Uh, and I'm saying today, uh, it's important for us to be able to find the essence of life because there is a number that God has on our life. And if we not am productive with this number, if we're not productive, well, let me put 20 because some of you are 20 years old. Some of you are 16. Some of you are 18. Some of you are 19. Some of you are 30. Some of you are in your 40s. Wherever your number might be, it's important for you to be able to say, Lord, teach me to number my days. We have numbers when we were born, you are one year. We have birthdays, and a lot of you have celebrated. In fact, a friend of mine just celebrated a birthday. Yeah. And uh, oh, what a special time it was uh, of rejoicing uh, with your friends uh, and your family. Uh, and you're looking at yourself and you're saying, uh, I can't believe how old I am. Uh, I can't believe so much time has passed. Uh, but the question is, what have you done uh, in those years uh, and those time uh, that God has given you? Uh, so many have wasted uh, their lives away and they live in regret for wasted years in fact there's a song uh, that says wasted years uh, wasted years oh how easy yeah and we would like uh, to help you not to waste your years uh, but uh, to allow God uh, to make uh, your years useful. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when you look at your number, when you look at your age, uh, when you look at the time uh, that you have on earth, uh, you don't know uh, what time you have left. Uh, all we have for us is today. Uh, yesterday has passed. Uh, we don't know about tomorrow. Uh, and if God is going to add uh, more years uh, upon our lives if God is going to change our number day by day we have to give him a reason why we need our numbers to be changed there was a particular man in the Bible when the prophet came to him and said to him you put your house in order for tomorrow you shall die the number I mean, uh, Hezekiah, his number looked at him in the face uh, and uh, he realized that death 
was near. But then he prayed to God and he said, Lord, you know of my faithfulness. You know of my commitment. You know of my service. And the Lord changed the number and extended his years by 15 more years. And I'm saying today, you might be sick and the doctors may have given you a number and say you have two weeks or three weeks or a few months. God can change that number. You may have felt within yourself uh, that the number that you have uh, you will be losing leaving your family too soon uh, and you're going to pray to God uh, and that God may extend your number. Uh, but I'm saying today uh, it's not so much the extension uh, that God is going to give us on life uh, but uh, it's the quality uh, and the abundance of life that he gave. Uh, he said I've come that you might have life uh, and have it more abundantly. There is uh, an essence of life that comes only from serving God uh, and uh, knowing him. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that's the reason why it's important. Uh, you cannot afford uh, to put off the things that God has directed you to do. Let me say this again, because life is so short. We just cannot afford to procrastinate. We just cannot afford to put things off. We just cannot afford to say, well, tomorrow or well, next week. Whatever God has placed in your heart and placed on your life for you to do, whatever service that he has called you to, I tell you, you need to be able to drop every everything else uh, and allow God to direct you and guide you and begin to use you. Uh, do you hear me today? Yeah, because it's the usefulness of life uh, that's going to make a difference. Uh, do you hear me today? Yeah. It's the quality of life uh, that God has blessed you with, uh, not so much with the longevity of life. Uh, and if you look at some of our leaders, uh, they may have lost, uh, they may have lived short life, uh, like Martin Luther King, uh, and uh, but look how impactful uh, his life uh, is still uh, in uh, our world today, not just in the United States, uh, but in our world today. Uh, look at Mahatma Gandhi uh, back there in India. Uh, look at uh, Arlene, uh, um, South Africa, uh, um, um, Mandela, uh, and look at these leaders. Uh, they, their lives uh, may have been short, uh, but uh, I'm telling you, uh, God has used them to impact a nation and impact a world. But you may say, well, uh, Dr. Williams, uh, I, I, I don't know what I can do to impact uh, um, uh, my world or impact my community or even impact my family. Well, uh, I'm glad that you don't know. That's why you need to go to God and says, teach us to number our days aright. And when it says teach us to number our days, it doesn't mean that we need to count our days. Our days already set. Do you hear me today? But it says teach us to be able to take stock in life. Teach us to be able to look to look at our lives and see how our lives can make a difference in our world. The Bible says, uh, relent, O Lord, uh, how long will it be? Have compassion uh, on your servant. Uh, satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love uh, that we may sing uh, for joy. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when it says, uh, uh, how long? Uh, he says, relent, O Lord, how long will it be? We don't know. Uh, but he's got that number. Do you hear me today? Yeah. So many people are, are looking uh, for the right numbers for the lottery. Yeah. When they look at the mega million and they look at the Powerball, uh, they're hoping for that right number because with that right number they will receive millions and millions of dollars but the thing about that you would leave it behind you would leave it for someone else it's only a short time that you have look at the richest man in the world he cannot be at every place wherever he has I mean his holdings look at the those who have made billions they're giving them away Buffett is giving his millions away, yeah, and uh, so many other rich billionaires uh, are giving away uh, their money, yeah, and uh, because they know uh, 
that it only lasts uh, for a little while. Uh, he says, satisfy us in the morning uh, with your unfailing love. That what brings quality to our lives uh, is the satisfaction uh, from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, being able uh, to get up in the morning uh, in prayer and supplication. Being able to get up and pray on behalf of others. Uh, being able to be enriched uh, and be nourished by his word. Uh, that is uh, the satisfaction. Uh, so many people are looking for satisfaction in life uh, and has failed to find it. Uh, the other day, uh, I went to Walmart uh, looking for something, uh, but I did not see a sign that says, uh, here is satisfaction. Uh, I did not see a sign that says, uh, here is long life. Uh, I did not see a sign that says, uh, here is quality of life. Uh, all I saw was just things that would last uh, for a minute or two. Uh, they pull you in to buy these things that does not mean anything and hold on to your money. Uh, he says, uh, make us glad for as many days you have uh, afflicted us. Hallelujah. Uh, he says many are the afflictions uh, of the righteous, but God deliver him. Uh, God has a way of balancing uh, the pain and suffering that may come into your life uh, to grant you joy unspeakable and full of glory. Uh, do you hear me today? God has a way, let me say that, uh, of balancing, uh, hallelujah, uh, of balancing uh, your life uh, and uh, he can give you joy unspeakable uh, and uh, full of glory uh, as we close today uh, I hope uh, that you would consider how God uh, can uh, direct uh, your heart uh, and uh, direct your life. Uh, I hope that you can consider how uh, in trusting God, uh, it can make uh, a difference. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I hope uh, that as you trust God today, uh, you would find his love uh, and his grace uh, and his strength. Uh, hallelujah. Just listen to the song again. Make us glad for as many days you have afflicted us. For as many years we have seen trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to their children. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. God wants to teach us to number our days. He wants to grant us the wisdom and understanding that can make a difference in our hearts to life. And I pray that he will do that for you today. Let's come to God in prayer. Father, we know our life is short, but with you, dear Lord, we can make an impact. And I pray for those who might be giving up on themselves, that they don't know what direction to go in, that they will come to you and you would guide them. I pray for those who think their lives are meaningless. I pray that you may help them to find meaning in the name of Jesus, Lord. Amen and amen. May God bless you today. Counting. Oh, hallelujah. May God count your days. Hallelujah.